Cadena 30, la televisión más abierta que nunca. Y en la silla de Excelsior, Pascal Beltrán del Río continúa con la conversación con el ex primer ministro de Gran Bretaña, Tony Blair. Let me ask you uh, about the war on drugs. Everything we've been doing in the world the past four years seems to be failing. Uh, in Latin America, uh, soon there will be the same uh, amount of dead uh, than during the, the armed struggle of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Which way should we go on the drug issue? This is a really tough challenge for you. Um, and it's got some um, resemblance, actually, to some of the fight against organized terrorism in different parts of the world. Because you can get a quiet life by just letting these gangs carry on doing what they're doing, but in the end you'll, you'll corrupt your whole society with it. So you've got a, you know, big, big changes in the way that the, the judicial and, and law enforcement um, uh, um, instruments work. This is very, very hard to do, but, you know, if you give up on it, for a country like Mexico where, you know, you're very much for the outside world, Mexico is now in a different, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's come into the Premier League, if you like, of, yeah. of nations. You know, you, you don't want a situation in which the rule of law doesn't run throughout the whole country. So, I, I mean, I sympathize very greatly with political leaders in, in a position uh, here, but personally, I, I think you have to persevere. But uh, violence seems to be the issue. How, how do you reduce violence, uh, maintaining the rule of law? Well, I think the way you do reduce violence in the end is you just got to keep bearing down on it. You know, and in the end, the guys who are engaged in this have got to know that they may win a battle, but they'll never win a war, uh, because you're just going to carry on. Let me ask you about your role in the, in the Middle East as an envoy. Uh, why do you think such a poor film as the one has been seen on, on, on YouTube has caused such a violent reaction in Northern Africa and the Middle East? Well, it's a very good question. And, and look, this film, I mean, I actually watched a bit of it, you know, just because I was giving interviews on it, so I thought I should at least see it. I mean, it is... I mean, it is offensive, but I mean, an, I mean, a ridiculous piece of filmmaking. I mean, no one could take it seriously. Mm -hmm. And so the issue, I'm afraid, is the reaction, because the reaction is not just disproportionate. It's, it's. Is it a social reaction or a political reaction? Well, it's a bit of both, and it's exploited sometimes politically by people. But you know, when people go out and say, "Well, this is America," you know, it's ridiculous. What is necessary is to understand that the whole of the Middle East today is undergoing this big process of modernization where you've got elements that have a wrong-headed view of religion fighting against more liberal-minded, open-minded people. And in the end, you know, these, these religious extremists, um, you know, I think they are not a majority, but they're a very powerful minority. Entérate de los últimos acontecimientos de México y el mundo en Cadena 3 Noticias. Síguenos en Facebook como Cadena 3, en Twitter como arroba cadena 3-mx y suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube Cadena 3 Noticias e infórmate de los videos que a ti te interesan. ¿Quieres ver más? Te recomendamos estos videos.